As a 20-year-old college student, Cliff was working a summer job as a plumber's apprentice. One day, Cliff volunteered to help with the jackhammer. Moments later, his jackhammer cut into three buried hypertension wires. The consequences were horrific. I was blown off the jackhammer, and then I had slid back down into the hole, and that's where I came in contact with the jackhammer for the second time. I was electrocuted by about 30,000 volts of electricity. That's what went through my body until it hit the circuit breaker. That's about five times the amount that they give to people in the electric chairs. Cliff was pronounced dead three times. As they took the bandages off my legs, I could actually see the knee bone in both of my legs. The electricity had burned away the internal structure of Cliff's knee. Amputation was recommended, but Cliff and his family would not give up. After my accident, I had to grow up really fast. Uh, that was pretty traumatic experience for a 20-year-old to go through at that time. What I tried to do is uh, take a negative situation and make it positive. I told myself, well, here is who I am today. I can no longer change the situation that I'm in, so make the best of it. After 15 surgeries and 15 months, Cliff won the battle to save his life and his legs. But Cliff had much more fight in him. I love the concept of kayaking. I thought that would be a great sport for me. I can't use my legs or anything, so it's all upper body, so maybe I could try that. And that was a really good avenue for me in terms of rehabilitation. I got a lot of support. I took a liking to it, and I just got more and more competitive. In an awesome show of perseverance, Cliff made the United States Olympic team again this year. The power of his comeback was felt by the American team, who elected him to carry the flag in the opening ceremonies in Sydney. You know, you train so hard and you're so dedicated to achieve a goal, but when I was carrying the flag, that's just pure honor and pride. It was the happiest moment of my life.